dude, they're, they're taking off. This by show us in pursuit. Speed's around 40 miles an hour this time. Or uh, gonna be attempting another pit. Oh, you need a speed device canine deploy. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. We are happy to have you patrolling along with us today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We do realistic police patrols with real-time commentary to give you some more ideas for your own immersive gameplay. So hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you never miss out on an episode. We just passed 200 subs this past weekend, and I can't thank you guys enough for the love and appreciation you've shown this channel. So our next goal is 250, so let's see if we can get it, guys. All right, so today we are back in the county with Deputy Carmichael's and K-9 Duke. Her last K-9 episode was kind of a bust for the K-9, didn't really get so much um, game time. So we're going to try and get Duke some action this episode. We do have a new call-out pack installed. This is from J. Cook Crimes' BCO, BCSO pack and FGH's skins, which are based on Alameda County Sheriff out of California. You've no doubt seen these skins in Polecats videos for several years now, but I don't think we've ever patrolled with them on this channel so we definitely wanted to check them out give them some give them some love and uh just to you know, add some variety here to it so um let's go ahead and jump into it guys and see what we can get into all right guys so that guy just bearded in our lane we're gonna go ahead and catch up to him we're going to attempt a traffic stop. Sometimes what we're seeing, even though this is uh, 7.30 in the morning, some people coming off night shift, they, you know, just leaving the bar. So we are going to go ahead and attempt to pull this guy over and have a little bit of a chat. Looks like we do have uh, at least two people in the vehicle here. Dispatch Lincoln 412. Lincoln 412. Go ahead. Show us on a traffic stop. I'm going to run the plate in our system. It's a Mesa. Let's come back valid. David Rodriguez is the registered owner. He's coming back valid as well. Does have a gun permit and prior citations from proper U turn, distracted operation, and animal cruelty. All right, so we'll be kind of on the lookout for him. But we do have two, two, uh, two individuals. I have a four-door occupied two times, requesting 32. Roger that. Backup required in uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Okay, so along with the K9 unit, <clears throat> we do have uh, an FPIS and a uh, F-150. You know, that's possible for backing us up today. All right, looks like we do have the FPIS. So we're gonna go ahead and make contact. Get our backup and on scene. All right. Oh shoot! They're, they're taking off. This by show us in pursuit. Attention all units. Suspect evaded pursuing officers. All units attempt to reacquire visual. Requesting air unit. In uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Roger. All right, guys. So basically, we went to make a uh, attempt a traffic stop. They did pull over, went to make contact, and they they just took off. I guess they were waiting on us to get out of the vehicle. Thought they could get a uh, head start on us. All right, all units, be advised. They got onto the highway. We're northbound on uh, Route 13. Uh, we're gonna have secondary backing up the primary unit. Uh, air unit does have them. Uh oh. Oh, one unit uh, wrecked out. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take over primary. And try to get caught up here. Well, we might have a uh, motorcycle unit backing us up. Dispatch requesting backup. I'm gonna get another unit out here. We have one unit behind us. Looks like we, uh, we have a, a suspect in sight. All right, we're gonna be primary here. I'm going to let uh, somebody else... Oh, what, no, we are secondaries. Looks like a state trooper attempting a pit. Oh, he petted himself out. That's no good. Oh, no. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dispatch requesting pit maneuver. Attention unit, Lincoln 4, 
All right, so we have been uh, clear to pit. We can get him slowed down just enough. We're gonna nudge him here. Oh, we gotta be careful. See, we got bikers out. There's, there's a lot of people around, so we do have to be mindful of that. We can't just we could, uh, knock him off the road at any any given moment here. But this looks like it might be good. Chance. Go. Oh, almost got him. Oh, yes, be advised, we're approaching Sandy Shores. Uh, if you can notify Sandy uh, PD, or not Sandy Shores, good grief, Palato Bay P uh, PD. We're coming through their uh, their district. Oh, he's making a right onto uh, Procopio Drive. Speed's around 40 miles an hour this time. All right, going to be attempting another pit. Get out of the vehicle now. Get out of the vehicle. I know you hear me. Trying to get... There we go. Get on the ground right now. Get on the ground. Driver, throw the keys out and get out of the vehicle. Do it now. Get on the ground. Dispatch, be advised, we have two in custody. Copy that. And show us on scene. It's going to be westbound Procopia Drive. Uh, I believe Roger this is that, 10, um, property number uh, 624. All right, driver, do you have anything illegal on you that's going to poke, stick, or harm you in any way? What would I define as illegal? Um, okay, well, a knife, uh, any kind of explosive device, uh, you know, handguns, hypodermic needles. All right, do you want to pat him down? I'll get the uh, the passenger here. All right, same thing to you, my guy. Anything illegal on you? Anything that's gonna uh, really upset me? Okay. All right, so we got a uh, a Braden Savage, and let's see who we got here. This guy's got a half gram of a powder on him. The other guy just had a pocket camera and uh, something else that wasn't of interest. All right, dispatch, can I get a background on a David Rodriguez 4882? And then also on a Braden Savage 24 1980? All right. Hey, any reason why you guys ran the way you did? Well, technically, I wasn't running, was I? I was fleeing. Well, whatever, smartass. You know how many lives you put in danger with that pursuit? I did some great driving, though. You guys, on the other hand, great driving. You ran into that pole, my guy. I mean, yeah, a little bit of a nudge for me, but still. All right, so uh, was it worth it, my guy? Because you have uh, a lot of consequences coming your way, a lot of charges. How about you give someone else life advice? Wow, what a dick. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and grab him. We're going to put him in the back of the one of the, probably the state's cruiser. My bad, my guy, my bad. All right, so this guy's gonna go into the other vehicle. Then we gotta search the uh, vehicle. We're also gonna go ahead and get the canine out. I want to get him some, some time. Come on, Duke. So Got some work to do. Team. Hopefully, he doesn't. Um, Hopefully, doesn't glitch out because he's this guy's so close to the to the wall. I don't know if he'll be able to go around him or not. But we're gonna get the uh, canine to search to see if we can find anything. See if they got anything hidden in some place that we wouldn't uh, you typically look. Unfortunately, we got this one officer here that wants to freaking shadow us like crazy. All right, so Duke is alerting to the to the vehicle, so that's good. Good boy, good boy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Try to get him put away. All right, so let's search the vehicle. See if we can find what Duke was alerting on. All right, so this guy's got a gym bag of 25 marksman pistols with scratched off serial numbers, realistic looking BB gun, and the other guy has some like white powder. So we're gonna go ahead and run that. We go grab the, uh, the driver and see if he's been using as well. I know we found it on the passenger, but you never know if he gave it to this guy or not. All right, sir. So. so uh, Need to know if you've been using any drugs or not, but you consent to a drug swap sample. Your buddy had some cocaine on him, and I need to know if you were taking any of it. 
All right, you want to run that for me? Just let me know if you find it. Comes back at the positive hit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get this guy over here arrested. My gosh, look how dirty this vehicle is. All right, sir, can you step out for me? So we're going to read these guys their rights. Um, my guy stops running around. All right, sir, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights if I read them to you today? Okay. All right, you want to go ahead and uh, take this guy in? Assistance required in Palato Bay. All right, you read him his rights? Great, and then uh, you understand him, right? All right, so he understands it. He's just giving us, he's just being an extra smart ass here. All right, um, so we're going to go ahead and get him transported as well. The vehicle towed, and I'll take care of all of the uh, police reports. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. All right, it's posted 25. We're clocking this guy at 35 through here, so we're going to be um, performing a traffic stop. We'll run his plate once we get him over on the side of the road here. All right, looks like we have one person inside. Dispatch Lincoln 412. Lincoln 412. Go ahead. Show us on a traffic stop. We have a four-door occupied one times no 32. Let's go ahead and run the plate. Lincoln 4, 12, 10, 4, copy that. Anna, 10, 11, All right, it's owned by Mads uh, John. Uh, it's coming back valid, not stolen. He does have an expired driver's license over 200 days. That's pretty significant. Uh, violations, safety belt violations, um, prior arrest for armed robbery. No uh, CCW, just because of the prior arrest. So let's go ahead and make contact here. We're definitely going to keep our eye on this guy. How you doing, sir? Deputy Carmichael's Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Can I get your license, registration, proof of insurance, please? So this guy seems enough. You seem nervous, a little more nervous than usual. Okay, so this is the registered owner. We'll let him know why we pulled him over. Yes, sir, we got you, uh, clocked you at 35. This is uh, posted 25. Guilty as charged. Any reason you're going so fast? Uh, I was late to my son's graduation. 7.30 in the morning? That's pretty early graduation. Just hang out here for me, okay? All right, so we'll ask him why he's so nervous when we get back. What the hell? What the hell is yelling at me like that? I honestly don't see anybody out here. All right, so that was the registered owner. He is definitely going to get uh, cited for and over. He also got that expired driver's license. So we got speeding. And now there are no other moving violations, but we did get him for fired driver's license over 30 days. Okay, Mr. John, um, here's your stuff back. Sorry for the wait. We'll get you to your son's graduation here momentarily. Okay, you are getting uh, multiple tickets. Okay, you're driving on an expired driver's license over 200 days old. I need you to get that taken care of ASAP. And then you're also getting uh, 10 over. You guys are the worst money-hungry cops I know. Just follow the law, man. And you save yourself some money. Uh, but here's the deal. I do need you to sign these tickets, okay? It's just acknowledging you receive it. It's not admitting guilt. Yep, uh, definitely appreciate it. Uh, make sure you just pay the fine and appear in court as indicated. There's a number on the back you can call. Get your date, time, and location. Any chance you'll have, you have a payment plan? That's something you can work out with the magistrate. Uh, any other questions for me at this time? 
No, oh, okay. All right, you're free to go when I get back to my vehicle. This person passed away over a year ago. There's nobody living here. There's no All right, pretty simple traf uh, no traffic stop, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, get back into it here. Dispatch shows tonight. Copy that. I'll talk to them when I get here. 10 4 10 8. Alright, this guy just, just blew past this. And, you know, they're supposed to yield, get over. If they can't get over, they're supposed to go, um, I think it's 20 miles below the speed limit. At 25, it's kind of a. Kind of hard to do five miles an hour out here, but he's also not riding with a helmet. So we're gonna up this guy and find out what his deal is. And see, now he tried to put it on. This best show us on a traffic stop. We're gonna be uh, Marina Drive at Zancudo. I have a ATV rider occupied one time, Snow 32. Let's see if his plate comes back with anything. Lincoln, 4, 12. Roger that. Anna, 10, 11. And Sandy Shore. Okay, so it's in by an Adrian Berenger. Valid, not stolen. But he does have an arrest warrant for poaching. So we are going to get another unit out here. Dispatch. Requesting backup. Oh, I should have said traffic stop backup. Assistance required in Sandy Shores. All right, so uh, we're going to be code five in this guy, <laughs> apparently. Charlie four, Roger that. We're in the area. The rest weren't for poaching, so he may have a weapon on him. So this is a little bit of a higher risk. Um, you can see here's the uh, the F-150 that we that we have you know, backing us up today. So we should have two more units coming. Once we get them on scene, we'll go ahead and start issuing commands. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, driver, put your hands up and step off the vehicle. Move back towards the sound of my voice. Keep coming back until I tell you to stop. Right, go ahead and get on your knees and put your hands on your head. Interlock your fingers. Do it now. All right. All right, somebody go ahead and move up. I've got him. They're going to go ahead and cuff this guy. Yeah, if you want to secure him, and sir, I'll be right with you to explain what's going on. Um, so we, we do have, uh, obviously, probable cause of search. We're going to go ahead and search the vehicle. See if there's anything uh, stowed on here. Nothing of interest. Right, let's get him patted down. I guess we should also make sure we got the right guy here. It could just be, you know, somebody else's, uh, or it could be the, uh, the owner of the vehicles, uh, somebody else. So if you get anything illegal on you, it's going to poke stick or harm us in any way. Oh, sir, I've got nothing illegal on me. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pat you down myself. Were you guys just off-roading? Holy crap. The car wash after this. Screwdriver, bar tab, and a wallet with two white tablets. That's, that's interesting. Uh, Adrian Berenger, yep. So this is the, the right guy with the outstanding warrant. All right, sir. So a um, couple things. The reason for the stop the way that we did was you have an outstanding warrant for your arrest. Melinda, can I help you? Yeah, you're joking. Please tell me it's a joke. Nope, it's for poaching, my guy. And then can you tell me about these uh, these tablets here? Don't lie to me because I'm going to field test it. Do it then. All right. We will go ahead and, and take care of that. So we have one field test kit left to use for this, this shift. See what these white tablets turn out to be. Positive for ecstasy. See if this guy's been using it all. All right, sir, so the uh, field test came back positive for ecstasy. I need to know if you're out here um, using it all or if you're just out here selling. No, I just like to get high from time to time. All right, would you consent to a drug swab sample? Just test the inside of your cheek or any kind of narcotic residue. Yep, very similar to a doctor checkup. 
go ahead and do that then. That is consenting. Come to my barbecue tomorrow. Appreciate it. Rates come back negative. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights or I've read them to you today? All right. Let's go ahead and get him um, transported. I'll tow the vehicle and get the rest report. Everybody else can take off. All right, guys. We are responding to uh, shots fired. We have an officer in distress. We'll be up here in Grapeseed. Uh, we are arriving on scene now. Dispatch, show us on scene. Shots fired. All units, be advised, canine deployed. Behind me, I got somebody up here. Holy crap! All right, let's get the rifle out. This is getting a little insane. Come on, my guy, get the. All right, we're going to go up here and try to secure this scene. If you can hear me, do not reach for your weapons. Either of you. Looks like we got an officer down. Dispatch requesting ambulance. Let's see if we can um, render aid to the officer. Man, he's looking pretty rough. Looks like he took a couple to the chest. I don't know if he's wearing a vest. He should be. Probably underneath his uniform. All right, so I couldn't get the, the officer... Um, you know, get, get him revived. Let's get another unit, another ambulance unit, because we have, what, like four or five patients now? Requesting ambulance. All right, so they're going to work on him. I'm going to go check out these, uh, this other other patient. It looks like the, the canine might have somebody stopped up here. Oh, he does. Get on the ground right now. Get on the ground. Do not reach for that, that, uh, that sidearm there. An ugly mother effer. Dispatch, we have eyes. We have one in custody. All right, so we are going to have him just stop right here. I'm going to go ahead and shut traffic down so we don't get ran over. We're going to get this guy transported. We're going to see if we can get anybody else revived. And... Uh, Looks like they, yeah, so they got one guy getting carted off. I'm going to go ahead and get this arrest report written up, and then we'll get this guy transported here as well. Assistance required. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of our shift. Let's take a look at some of the court cases from today. Uh, the first one, we had Brandon Rodriguez and a Braden uh, Savage or Savage. Uh, we got them for attempted escape, uh, custody of law enforcement, possession of cocaine with intent to distribute. They had a firearm in commission of a crime without a CCW with the serial numbers. Uh, they were uh, filed off Come from a bunch of other things too. Evasion, leaving the scene of an accident. You know, they they fled from us. So it was a big high-speed chase. So they both got charged with the same thing. This guy's got 20 years tw or 28 years in prison with a $22,000 fine. Wow, 39 years old. That's a long time. Braden, uh, 41 years old. He got 37 years, nine months in prison with an $18,000 fine. Wow. Uh, Mads John got him for speeding with expired driver's license greater than 30 days. Uh, a $400 fine. That's a... Uh, and just, you know, there was no need for that. You know, all he had to do is take care of his driver's license and just slow it down a little bit. Adrian Berenger. We got him... He had the arrest warrant out for poaching. He was on that four-wheeler. Uh, we got him for possession of ecstasy with intent to distribute. Didn't get him for driving without a helmet. Um, 45 years of age. He should have known better for sure. But he's already going to do a year in prison with a $5,000 fine. Uh, Antonio Machado, Mr. Face Tattoo, 23 years old. Uh, I don't know if he was directly involved with uh, that, that officer-involved shooting that we arrived on scene to. 
but he did open up fire after we had engaged him. He, he was uh, stopped by our canine, so we got him for um, first-degree murder, attempted a murder of a LEO, aggravated assault with a firearm, possession of counterfeit goods, and stolen credit cards. So 23 years old, he's got 85 years in prison. Good. You know, good for him. $47,000 fine. Now, there was another guy that was carted off in the ambulance. They're going to get him processed after he gets released from the hospital. And unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, get his information. So we left it up to the other officers to get that taken care of. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys you know, found this entertaining. If you did, you know, hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't. And then join us over on Discord. We do have you know all of our scripts, textures, vehicles, all that fun stuff is listed in our Discord that we use. So if you're looking for a download and you're having trouble finding it, and, but you've seen it in one of our episodes, most likely it is going to be there or we can find it for you. Uh, take care, guys. Uh, stay safe and happy patrolling. We'll see you on the next one.